Brandon Mathis, and I am standing in the middle of a dream. I'm standing on the property here on Hamilton Road in Columbus, Ohio, of a dream that I had 25 years ago and six months ago. In this dream 25 years ago, we were at the end of the age, and God was bringing the body of Christ together to preserve the body in cities all over the nation called cities of refuge. And in this dream, the body of Christ was self-sufficient. We were worshiping together, we were singing together, but we were also eating together, and there was none that lacked among us. We were Acts 4 communities, and we had a grocery store that was allowing us to pull out from what was going on around us and connect to the supernatural provision and manna of God. It was called Feed My Sheep Food and Clothing Store. Fast forward, six months ago, I had a dream that indicated it's time. I saw myself being given a building that had a daycare center in it, that had the ability to have a day and night worship center in it, to worship God 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that had the ability to train up children and young people and youth in daycares and internships. And I had this dream six months ago, as the Lord said, it's time. I come to tell you whatever dream you've had and whatever promise you've had from God, it's time. It's time to fulfill every promise from God. It's Pentecost season. And in this season, God's getting ready to release the promise of the Father that has been given where God has prophesied and spoken in dreams and visions years back. But 2018 is the season for the fulfillment. Now, I want to draw you into our dream and I want to connect you with our journey to release your dream listen to me I came to this building they showed it to me and I saw this is the building and they said well this is gonna cost about five hundred thousand dollars to fix up they thought I would gulp they thought I would draw back they thought I would cower but I have a dream and when I heard that, I said, I know what God wants me to do. He wants me to seek his face for his wisdom and his strategy on how to buy this building, on how to get this building for the body of Christ. This is the dream. This is the strategy. This is the wisdom. God said, sow into Israel. Sow a seed of the amount you need into Israel. Y'all know us. We go to Israel two and three times a year. I'll be going in a few weeks. I'll be taking another team in a few months. God said, sow the seed of that amount into ministries in Israel. We want to sow a $50,000 seed into Tents of Mercy, into Sukkot Halal, into ministries in Israel that we've developed a relationship into. Why? Because I believe God wants to give us this building. Will you help us sow a seed and watch God release the dream in your life? You can hear all around this community He's God. You hear the sirens of police and fire, trucks all around. This is the season and this is the time to bring God to this community. And so in a few months, I will be traveling to Jerusalem with that seed. You can help us by sowing your seed, your best seed, into this seed so that we can possess this property. Listen, Hope for Columbus, our 24-7 worship, prayer, and evangelism center, I believe that this is our headquarters. And I believe it's going to be a blessing to the body of Christ in our city. I believe God is going to make our city a city of refuge. And you can help us by sowing a seed and targeting it towards your need as I am targeting this that we receive towards this need and because God is in it God is going to do it God bless you you can look down below and you can see the information where to sow the seed and 
we will take that seat to Israel. We will take that seat to Jerusalem. And we will pray for everything that God has promised you. Let me pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release the spirit and the anointing of Pentecost in this season of Pentecost. And I release the promise of the spirit, the promise of the father upon these that give in Jesus name. Amen. God bless you.